Okie dokie, my dude. So, welcome to the segment of this LP, I guess, that, um, just gonna be kind of a bit of cleanup here. So, first things first is, um, I need to talk to this person up here in Route 14 and, uh, completely ignore this Venonat. How dare you step in my space. But anyways, got another in-game trade to do here in Route 14. Chance is cute, but I don't have it. Do you have a Chansey? You want to trade for my Aerodactyl? Yes. Yes, I do. So, I'm going to trade my extra Chansey that I have and uh, trade it, trade her for an uh, Aerodactyl. So, yeah, this is the reason why I didn't bring transfer over an Aerodactyl from Red. What's she doing in that bush? Looking for a Chansey? Because this is where uh, Chansey appear. This is the only place where Chansey appears in the game, Route 14. So, <clears throat> send this Chansey to Kim, and Kim's going to give me an Aerodactyl. The last of the fossils. Yay. Why she has an Aerodactyl, I don't know, but hey, I have it now. There we go, trade a chance for Aerodactyl. Yeah. Wow, thank you, I always wanted a Chansey. And now I have an Aerodactyl. Name Aeroy. Aeroy Jenkins. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is, hey, I'm gonna take this gold berry from it, because why not? But I'm actually gonna breed this Aerodactyl with Ditto, so I can get an Aerodactyl without a nickname. <laughs> Because I'm really stubborn about that, but uh, yeah, I'll take care of that at a time that isn't right now. So there's an Aerodactyl. There's that part of the cleanup now. Next part of this uh, of this kind of catching random shit cleanup segment is the game corner. So, um, game corner is a place uh, I actually. Um, have kind of already done some of the game corner stuff just to get myself, or not, kind of get myself ready. So, I went to the game corner, need some game coins, cost me $1,000, 50 coins, blah, blah, blah. I'm so glad you can buy these in fi increments of 500 now, because that uh, makes things in easy. Anyways, I already have 5,200 coins because I prepared myself, so what I'm going to do is just buy another 500. Brings my total to 5720, and also I now have 690,000. Nice. Uh, dollars. I'm 69. Hey, Roy Jenkins. Yes. And uh, we're gonna get a Pokemon that we can only get here in the pro in the Celadon Prize Center, because the uh, Goldenrod Prize Center has different Pokemon. So we can get a Pikachu, we can get a Porygon, we get a Larvitar. Um, that's something we're gonna catch later. But uh, Porygon, that's that's what we're getting here for the low low price of 5,555 coins. Is actually less than in uh, red and yellow. I think blue is 55 55 as well, but in red and yellow is 99 99. Anyways, Pokemon, our official Pokemon created due to extensive research, and perform only what it's in its program. So, uh, there we go. We now have a Porygon. And I'm actually gonna have to get another Porygon, because uh, Porygon gets an evolution. We'll take care of that later. Actually, we might might as well take care of that now. Now that I think about it, so... Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna go over to Goldenrod. Take, uh, give Arrow to... Er, fucking Aerodactyl. To, uh, the old couple. And, uh, hope for an egg, and then we're gonna get another Porygon, and then we're gonna evolve that Porygon. So, I uh, hope you're ready to go back to the Glitchy Auto em em Audio Emulator for another... Mr. Aerodactyl, yes. Twitch.tv slash Mr. Aerodactyl HD. It's Mr. Arrow HD. Anyways, so... We'll just do that real quick. Alright, so, back here... On the trading emulators... Or emulator. So I've already done the trading over to gold version again, and this time I traded over Oddish. I needed fodder for the item, so I just traded over my Oddish. And, uh, yeah. Because Porygon needs the upgrade to evolve. 
So, I'm gonna take the upgrade from Oddish, then I'm gonna give the uh, upgrade to Porygon, and then we're gonna go back in and trade them back. We're gonna get us a Porygon evolution. Ho ho! Because, yeah, I got myself another Porygon and stuff, and. Ah, uh, the cleanup continues. <laughs> okay, all that preparation is done. We're gonna send Porygon back. Now holding the upgrade. And, once Porygon drops in, we're going to see the upgrade take effect and evolve Porygon. Haha! And there it is! Porygon has successfully evolved into Porygon 2, a much smoother Porygon. Higher poly count, I guess, I don't know. Because it's, you know, it's an artificial Pokemon, like, n data. But yeah, there we go. A very original name. <laughs> Porygon's so good, why isn't there a Porygon 2? There is. There we go. Ugh, I don't have to deal with the trading and stuff again for a while. So there we go, we got Porygon, now we got Porygon 2. Yay. So, uh... Next up on the cleanup is going to be something that's probably actually going to take a while because of how annoying it's going to be. But, um... Yeah. Okie dokie, so... Now that we have the Porygons, and they're all tucked away, time to move on to the next part of our cleanup, and that is getting some insanely rare Pokémon that I had hopes of them becoming not insanely rare, because these are a couple Pokémon that have a 1% chance of showing up in their respective areas, but um, if you have a certain, certain trainers in your phone, which I do, um, they can call you about a possible swarm of that Pokémon in the area, which makes them much more common for like a half hour, like real time. Unfortunately, I never got that call, so I'm just gonna have to do go with the one percent chance, and it's gonna suck. But first, uh, our first um, Pokemon resides within the Dark Cave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I got my hop up here, and I'm gonna spam the fuck out of Sweet Scent until I find it. It may take a half hour, it may take five minutes. I don't fucking know. I got I got lucky with Chansey, which was one percent, but we'll see. I love how I say, oh, I wonder how long this is gonna take, and then fucking Super is just like, ah, 30 more. One attempt later, here's a Dunspar. Ah, <laughs> uh, son of a bitch. Alright, so... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Cheat a little bit. Just because this thing is a 1% encounter rate. I don't, I just don't wanna... Ooh, it knows Rage, okay. So yes, here's one of the 1% uh, encounter rate Pokemon that has the potential of swarming, but I was never notified of a swarm, so here we fucking are. That took a surprisingly low amount of time to find. I don't think I got through what, a single Carpenter Brute song before I found this damn thing. Hooray! So... Uh, well, considering the only of the Codemasters games I recently bought, Harry, that I haven't yet played is Dirt Rally 2, nah. All the other ones I've actually played. But there we go, Dunsparce, our first of the, uh, potential swarms. The land snake, it hides deep inside caves where no light ever reaches it, and remains virtually motionless there. It's also large, fucking five feet long. So there we go. We now has us a Dunsprass. It's a normal type. It doesn't it doesn't do much. It knows rage. That's all it knows. Okay. Well, that's one down. So now um our next one is in Route 35. So just north of Goldenrod City, so. Well, let's go up here and uh, get our other potential swarm Pokemon that hasn't swarmed. Here I am, I was gonna play the fucking meme Knuckles rap, but no, instead I find a Yanma. 
So, uh, let this be a lesson, kids. Knuckles helps you find the anima. I don't know. <laughs> Here it is. So, Route 35, 1% chance of showing up, unless it's swarming, which it decided to never do. It's a Yanma. I would use Ember, but... Oh, oh, okay. You know what? That, that's fine. Ember would probably murder it. So, let's just uh, grab this Yanma, hopefully. Fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Time for this again! Oh boy! Son of a bitch. Oh no. Yup, that sure is a Charmeleon. It has been identified. I think that helps with their accuracy for the next attack. Oh, there we go. It only pretended to be a, uh, an asshole for a couple turns. So, Yanma, clear wing. It's a dragonfly. But it's not a dragon type. You can see in all directions without moving its big eyes. Helping it spot attackers and food right away. Isn't that just fucking cool? So there's our other super rare potential swarm Pokemon that never swarmed. Yanma. And it's a bug flying. It's a cool little dragonfly, and it's cool and it's dragonfly, and it's got a high speed stat, I think. So, I got those out of the way. Now. <laughs> now. Now comes the fun part, but not until after some preparation is done. Which is going to involve some more grinding! Because I haven't done enough of that yet. Ah, uh, jeez. Here is what we're going to be doing for the next phase of catching things. It, it's time for some legendaries, so we got a, we got a sneak peek of uh, Intei and Raikou when I was catching everything in the wild, but now it's time to hunt them down for real. So here's my setup. Um, too bad Cameron's not here, because I'm in fact using Gengar. Level 39, that is intentional. Uh, knows Hypnosis and Mean Look, specifically. And also Nightshade and Dream Eater for, you know, stuff. Hopefully this thing's fast enough. Should be. I also have Jump Bluff as a backup in case Gengar gets knocked out. Because it also knows a, uh, Sleep Powder. So. That'll be useful. And then I just have Togepi Togetic here because... Because. So. I'm at Route 37. I'm in between Route 37 and 36 here. And, uh, basically, the way these this works is, um, every time you go to a new area, um, what route the legendaries are, the roaming legends are on, changes. Um, if you just go from one area to the next area, they'll go to an adjacent route to whatever they're on now. So what we can do, since we've already first encountered Raikou and Intei, we can go through a Pokedex page, and on the area, they'll actually show us where they are. So, so yeah, Entei's at Route 46 right now, and Raikou is at Route, what, 30, yeah, 31. So, not quite there. So the plan is here to just keep going in between Route 37 and 36, check their Pokedex, and uh, if they happen to be on the same route as me, well, we're gonna, we're, uh... We're gonna hunt this fucker down. Unfortunately, um, they're, they're, they're not close. So, uh, here's the part where I just meander back and forth and constantly check the Pokedex. Finally. Okay, so that was, what, like 15 minutes? Of uh, just going back and forth. Finally, we're on the same route as Raikou. So now it's time to enact the plan. So, here's the plan. Um, I'm gonna use a Repel. Because I bought some repels. That way, the only Pokemon I can find in the wild is Raikou, because Raikou is level 40, Gengar is level 39, and repel only works if your lead Pokemon is a higher level than the wild Pokemon. So, show yourself, you fucking bastard. There you are. I love getting interrupted at the worst possible time. Alright, I'm gonna make a save state here. Because this is a this is horrible. 
All right. Please be faster. Thank you for being faster. Thank you for making hypnosis work. Now, luckily, when they're asleep, they won't run away. Now, I'm gonna use Mean Look here, so Raikou definitely won't can't run away. Now we're just gonna whittle its health down. Probably should just use Nightshade to deal uh, 39 damage, but hey, whatever. Actually, that did pretty good. I'm doing okay, Lantis. I'm doing better now I've finally found one of these fuckers. Don't kill. Okay, not kill. Alright, we're in very, very good uh, situation here. So I'm just gonna resave that state. I bought a lot of Ultra Balls as well, by the way. <laughs> Alright, Raikou. How's this gonna go? Uh, that's how it's gonna go. Alright. Boy, do I wish the fast ball wasn't bugged. Because that would be very useful here. It's supposed to work on all Pokémon that have the potential to flee from battle, but the problem is it's bugged, so it only works on, like, Magneton, Grimer, and something else. Like the first three Pokémon in the Pokédex that have that potential. I think Tangela is the other one. Oh, we got a Wiggle. We got one whole ass wiggle. Got one wiggle again. Now we're in nearly best case scenario with Raikou here, like... He has a little more than one HP left, but other than that... Very low HP, and asleep, and, well, you see what's happening here. All I know is as soon as Raikou uses Roar, I'm loading that state. Oh, you fucking tease. You cock-teasing son of a bitch. Asshole. Grr. Hot roast. Dude, nice. Alright, well at least he's, um, being dumb and trying to use quick attack on a ghost type, so... Just giving me more opportunities here. More opportunities to do this legit. Yes, that old uh, rumor. Yes. I love when the plan comes together. One down, one to go. We got Raikou, the Thunder Pokemon. This rough Pokemon stores energy inside his body and sweeps across the land, shooting off electricity. Wasn't that just fucking cool? Yeah, I fell for that, T. John. I fell for that. Okay. One down, one to go. He sleep. I like how when you look uh, look at their stats and when they're asleep, they don't do their cry. So that's Raikou. Now I just need to get Entei. Uh, Alright. Alright, we finally found them both. God! I hate this so much. Okay, we are finally on the same route as Entei. That only took... several minutes. Like, close to a half hour, almost. Alright, Entei. Show yourself. Big fat bitch. Come on. 
I know you're here. Hello? If he ran away, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Okay, no, he's still here. He just doesn't want to show up. Come on, Inte. Come on, Inte. I should have brought Hoppip along. Hello. Legendary beast of- there you are. Legendary beast of fire. Fucker. You goddamn fucker. Okay, sleep. You sleep. You stay sleep. Alright, mean look, so he can't run away. This is the worst goddamn thing. Like, I've never really, like, made an active attempt to find roaming legendaries, but now that I've done it... Fuck, this sucks. This is actually my least favorite mechanic in all of Pokémon. Oh my god, okay. We are in the zone with the buh. Balls. Go. course. That was just the part where we wait on the RNG gods to actually grace me. Thanks, OBS. I'm gonna be like, oh, hey, I'm gonna catch it and while OBS is frozen. Oh yeah, this music is great. I think this might be a crystal exclusive thing, because oh you fucker. I will not accept that. Under no circumstances am I accepting that. This is why I cheat. <laughs> it's a time saver. Yeah, as you notice, with each subsequent, like, encounter, they save their, like, or they retain their, like, health status, so. Luckily, I don't have to, it doesn't get fully healed every time. Sleep. How about no, exactly. Now when we get to 3rd gen, I won't have this power, because I'm going to be playing on an actual cartridge. So enjoy this enjoy this convenience while you can. Just, uh... <laughs> Just like, oh hi Entei, was it Spanky again? Oh hey, let go, got it. Alright. Huh. That's all I can say is just, huh. The volcano Pokemon. Brawny Pokemon courses around the earth, spouting flames hotter than a volcano's magma. Magma. There we go. Yes, what do you want, Dana? Just me, Dana, so I he's getting prettier, blah, 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 blah. No. Wants to talk. Magma. Not lava, magma. Okay, so. We now have all three of the beasts. The official worst part of this game is over. So now, um... What we need to do is we need to go to Kanto. I'm trying to remember... Let's see, where the fuck is... Is you seen in Celadon, I think? I'm trying to remember where Encanto Yuzine is. So I can show them all the beast sisses. First, I need to do some, uh, move. Oh. 
forgot I used a repel. Alright. Let's let's do some moving around. So, first things first. I don't need I don't think I need them in my party, but I'm gonna put them in my party anyways. Just because. Actually, I don't need them in my party, what am I saying? Get in the fucking PC, you goddamn fuckers. No, not you. Pretty sure that's the Pokedex order. And before it's not. It is not. Okay, Raikou before Entei. Ah. How many left to go? Not many. Alright, Gengar, your services are complete. Too bad, uh, again, too bad, um, Cameron wasn't here to wash it. Since, you know, Gengar is by far his favorite Pokemon. Jumpluff, you were not needed, but thank you for your services anyways. <laughs> Get back in your home. Alright, I'm just gonna bring out, bring out the, the lads. Let's go to Kanto and uh, track down Yuzine because he's supposed to say something or something when I catch all the b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b Yeah, take for it out for a walk. Got to stretch her legs. Racing is like the only game where you can actually spot for other drivers, so I assume. There he is. Alright, what do you have to say? Hi. Back as in my hometown. It's been quite a while. Have you heard? There have been fresh rumors of a rainbow colored Pokemon appearing in Tin Tower. Ooh. Just had my party healed. So now I'm heading to Ecratique. I'll be seeing ya. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're, we're going to Ecratique now. Yeah. Don't actually need the beast in the party, but there we go. Once we catch all three of them, it's just like, oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's head over to Ecratique. The Nordschleife. That has many kinks. Alright, one more thing I'm gonna do here. Because I'm gonna need something extra here. To be fair, Supra, yeah, definitely. Alright, so I'm gonna bring along, um... You didn't see those, by the way. Uh, da 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 Oh, yeah, I'm stupid. I'm gonna bring along Mewtwo. For reasons that will be, um, well, you'll figure it out soon enough. Anyways, let's head to the Tin Tower. Now that, like, you know, we can. This is the way to the Tin Tower, right? Yes, it is. Let's go. There go. Where's Mew 3? In a million fucking ROM hacks. So here's our, um, one of the few areas we haven't yet been able to explore until now. It's the Ten Tower. So. Oh, appears to have descended upon the Ten, this, the Ten Tower. Ooh. Ooh. -oo. This will protect you. Take it. Hey, the Rainbow Wing. Alright, cool. So there we go. Now we have the three bees, we have the Rainbow Wing. And stairs. Now go. Ooh. Believe you are being tested. Free your mind from uncertainty and advance. Okay. So yeah. Um, so in Crystal, this is the only game where you actually have to jump through extra hoops to get the freaking Rainbow Wing, because you actually have to catch all three beasts. Whereas in previous games, you didn't have to worry about that. Oh yeah. 
This place is a big fucking weird ass maze. This is gonna be fun. Been yeah, it's been a while since I've been here, and I don't think I've ever been here in a second gen game. Also has some pretty weak ass wild Pokemon that I'm gonna might as well poke them to death. Get it a little bit of XP. But um I know in gold, because ho -Oh is the mascot of gold, or the cover Pokemon of gold, it, um, you get the Rainbow Wing, like, pretty much, like, I think the same time as I got the, uh, the Silver Wing for Lugia in this game, I don't fucking remember when I got the Silver Wing, anyways. Yeah, this is just kind of a, like, a one-way path, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm sorry. It just feels good to be doing actual gameplay now instead of fucking grinding and grinding and... Uh... Feels good. Okay, these wild battles are not worth it. Not in the slightest. Oh shit, okay. I have absolutely no idea where to go, so we might be doing a lot of faffing about. So uh, be prepared for a lot of faffing about. Also... No. I accidentally kill a legendary. It's gone forever, Supra. Okay, I think that leads to the next area of the tower, but I want to see what this item is. Ooh, there's more items. Ooh, and another staircase. Oh, boy. This is why you save your pro you save before every uh like one-off encounter. Ooh, PP up. Okay. Goodness. Escape rope. <coughs> Excuse me. What the hell is that over there? Oh, that's how I get to it. So we got multiple um, stairs here, and an Ultra Ball, okay. I mean, I already have a hundred of those, but okay. Get my PP up, yeah. Oh. Alright, well that's the, I guess, the You Failed section. What about over here? Another You Failed section, okay. I like how the pillar in the middle of the tower is a uh, swaying, just like the Sprout Tower. Remember Sprout Tower from like fucking like five months ago when I started this LP? Alright. I don't know where to go, so I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, found the item. Rare candy. Mmm, yum. Delicious candy. I just looked at the thumbnail of that, and my goodness. That's, uh, that looks like a big ass crash. Alright, well, that wasn't the right way to go. That was the way to the item, though. Blink, 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 blink. These are just gonna get more and more intricate as we go along the tower. Already tell. Alright, so I want to go this way. You know, stop linking me videos, I can't watch them because I'm actually like doing things for once. <laughs> oh, that's some air. Alright, let's see, which way? This way. Ha! I did it. Right, well, what the fuck we got here? Well, we got a max potion here. Dude. This is interesting. Okay, oh no. Oh no, they're adding teleporters. Oh no. 
Oh, great. They added teleporters to this. This might take a while. This might take a long while. Alright. I'm gonna try my best to not use teleporters. I'm definitely gonna have to use the teleporters. Oh, I'm okay with this, like, jumpy puzzle. I'm not okay with the teleporters. No, T-John. I'm gonna do this myself, because that's... F that's more... Uh... More rewarding. And I figure it out on my own. Also, oh no, it's Badger. I mean, hi, Badger. Stuff with the Rattatas. They chillin'. Okay, well that spit me back out of the entrance, so uh, it's time for some teleportation. Okay. Oh, we're in multiple floors. Oh, oh god. We're teleporting between floors. Oh shit. Alright. This is gonna be fun. Some Pokemon teleport you to different places. Uh, Pokemon that know the move teleport, uh, you can use that outside of battle to teleport to the most recent Pokemon Center you visited, or something like that. Alright, what's over here? More items. Nougat. Delicious Nougat. I think we've reached a dead end here, so, uh... Got a golden nugget. I mean, it's worth 5,000 bucks, so I'm going to assume yes. Yeah, I don't think I've used this teleporter. I have not used this teleporter yet. See, this is really intimidating, but once you, like, go through all the stuff, it's actually not that bad. Got a switch? Hell yeah, I do. Don't do it. I know what you're planning. Don't do it. Swear to God. No, oh, full restore, but I can't carry it. And eh, whatever, I don't care. Is this it? Uh oh. We've done it. We've reached the top of the Tin Tower. It's time, my dudes. Are you ready? There he is. There he is. Way ahead of you. Oh god. Alright, so it's time for the other legendary. It's Ho Oh. Unfortunately, it only gets the regular wild Pokemon music, unlike the beasts, but. There it is, Ho Oh! God damn it, Badger, you fu I knew you were gonna do that. I don't err. Yeah, thank you for the sixty dollars, Badger. Also, can I be gay? Oh wait, Ho is level sixty. I thought it was level seventy. Thank you for the sixty dollars, you crazy bastard. But um can I, I I know you gave this to me with the intention of like get sword shield. But Oh, fuck, ho oh, nose recover. Okay, well, this is gonna be fucking annoying. Um. But. I'd rather put this money towards a new PC. <laughs> Which is why I have that. <laughs> I don't have a Master Ball mic. I used it on the shiny Spearow. Well, at least you didn't use Recover this time. Also, uh, Steve isn't gonna do much to this thing. See how much Flamethrower does. Put that hoe to sleep. I don't know any sleep-inducing moves. 
on a Pokemon that's a high enough level to fucking actually do it without dying to death. Badger is not responding. I don't know how- I don't know how to- Oh, okay. Well, use Sunny Day, which means, um, fire attacks are stronger now. Just use Perish Song. Also, uh, fucking, uh... Sunny Day also, um, uh, removes the charge up turn for, uh, Solar Beam. So you just immediate solar being just phew. Okay then. Okay to my proposal? Don't get me wrong, I'm not I'm I'm definitely grateful that you're just fucking fling your goddamn money dick on all of us. But I got priorities, man. Oh, it's a cover for a huge accident! That's prevent! I need to do the same, ho -Oh. I need to do the same. Badger? Ba ba badger? What the fuck? God. You, you, you do realize that's, that's 300 doll hairs. That, that, like, th three, three, three hundred. That money can go to someone who actually matters. You could spend that on hookers and blow. Say, fucking blessed boy doing the blessed boy thing. This is my blow. <sighs> okay, ho, you can stop now. I'll be glad when it runs out of PP for recover. It's twenty, isn't it? God damn it. Well... Again, despite my inability to actually properly react to these things and express any sort of emotion that isn't dead inside, I see we are going to be at a standoff here. And I'm going to be extremely upset when I get the random crit on Swift here. I'm going to be extremely upset. Mudslap won't stop Recover from working. Although... It will prevent, uh... Oh, that's right, it's Flying type. Mudslap doesn't work at all. Yep, there it is. I knew it. God damn it. I was waiting for the crit. This is why you save before every battle. Every legendary battle. So, uh... Can, can, I, can, I, can I call for a seat? Oh, you son of a bitch. Mas yeah, Master Balls are a guaranteed capture. Unfortunately, I already used mine. Again, on that, um... Uh... Shiny Spearow. I'm not cheating in that way. Okay, there we go, never mind. Did it. 
Dead it. I didn't even have to wait until Mewtwo got deaded to bring out Steve. The paralyzes bitch. We caught ho -Oh. That was an ordeal. Twelve feet. Large. So let's recap uh, what happened there. Um, took th two soft resets. Um, Badger decided to whip me in the face with his money cock. His huge money cock. His 12 foot money cock. And now I have a ho ho. <laughs> so, ho ho, the rainbow Pokemon, it will reveal itself before a pure hearted trainer by shining its bright rainbow colored wings. Ooh. And with that, cleared the tin tower. We've got the legendary of the tin. Ooh, you're holding an item. What are you holding, ho ho? Sacred Ash. Oh wait, I know what that does. That's like a um I think that heals like your entire party, but it's also consumable, so you can only do it once. Oh that's right, I don't have any room for it. Uh more like seven years in Supra. So there we go. Actually hang on. I wonder if I can fly from the top. Oh, sweet, I can. Alright, let's see if I can find Yuzine. I'm gonna go back to the entrance and see if Yuzine shows up or anything. See if anybody reacts in any way. Sacred Ash Ketchum. Yeah, Ho is a large boy. Oh, there he is. Hello. Knew it. I knew you'd get to see the Pokemon of Rainbow Colors, Rhino. Okay. Happened just as I envisioned. My research isn't bad, I might say. I'm gonna keep studying Pokemon to become a famous Pokemaniac. That's it. I guess that's all we get from using. Alright. Hooray. When the legendary Pokemon appeared, they struck terror in those who saw their rise. And some even took the futile attacks. Legendary Pokemon, knowing their own power, fled, ignoring the frightened people. Well then. That's some interesting lore. Nothing's longer than the GTRLM. Of legendary Pokemon... Suicune is said to be the closest to Ho-Oh. Really? Here there may be also a link to Pokemon known as Unknown. Pokemon Unknown must be sharing a cooperative bond with Suicune. Strange. Legendary Pokemon are said to embody three powers. The lightning that struck the tower, the fire that burned the tower, and the rain that put out the fire. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well that's my first time doing Tin Tower, at least in this generation. Done in the remakes. So, um... Yeah, I guess that's the end of this segment of the LP, because I've done the cleanup. I, uh, caught the Legendary Beast, finally. After much pain and suffering. And I scaled Tin Tower and caught Ho-Oh. So now I think it's ti finally time to uh, work towards the um, finale of the game. Hang on, let me check my... Uh... Yeah, it's time to work towards the finale of the game. And that is one little area I keep saying that I'm going to go to, I haven't been to yet. And uh, it's also where we're going to find our last, like... 12 Pokemon that were missing. 12, 13. <laughs> Thank you, Lances, for the three bucks. Wish you could donate a few hundred dollars, dude. Any, It doesn't matter whether it's a penny or a thousand dollars like fucking Badger did. Every little bit is greatly appreciated. The fact that you're willing to just give me money for no reason other than I exist is just like... Brain Blast. 
So anyways, enough talking and stuff and stalling. We're gonna go to our final challenge, and that is Mount Silver. <laughs> 